Hi guys, welcome back to Slave Saturday. You know, Arnel Pineda has to be one of the nicest people in the music business. He's the kind of guy you would have to push hard to piss off in any kind of way. Since joining Journey in 2008, you know, replacing Jeff Scott Soto, who replaced Steve Jerry, who in turn replaced the legendary Steve Perry, Pineda hasn't complained once. He stuck to his job, all while taking constant abuse from Perry loyalists online, and in some cases at gigs. For 15 years now, this guy has towed the line and carried the band vocally, belting out those hard songs to sing, night after night, with his head held high. He's always said how much he respects Steve Perry, and how much he would step aside if Perry ever came back. Something Perry will never do, mind you. But lately, even Arnell has cracked in the face of all the toxic journey drama in recent times. Even Pineda, the most mild-mannered man of all time, has lost his patience. Now I'm not going to go back over all the journey drama here. Watch these videos I've made if you want that. But, for context, Journey are currently out on their 50th anniversary tour. As part of this, fans were kind of hoping and expecting at some stage on various legs of the tour that old members might show up for a gig or two. You know, like keyboardist Greg Rolly for example. Neil Sean and his wife said in a Facebook post that two members of the band didn't want this to happen though. But they didn't say who. We can guess Greg's successor in the band, John Kane, is one of them, and by process of elimination, Pineda may be the other. Why Arnell would have any problem with Greg coming back to the band is anyone's guess. But Journey are embroiled in a civil war, so maybe he's just taking John Kane's side. Arnell seems to align to John better, both personally and politically. And really, at the time, I didn't get it. Now this has clearly infuriated Neil Sean, who started the band with Rolly in the 70s. In Neil's opinion, Arnell should put up or shut up. You know, when the shit hits the fan like this, the truth really comes to the surface. That being, that despite saying all the right things over the years, Neil really only sees Arnell as a hired gun, even now. In Sean's opinion, Pineda should shut up and be grateful that he's in the band at all. For Arnell though, he's outgrown the rookie blow-in status and he feels he's earned the right to have his say and not bury his head in the sand anymore. So watch out. In a Twitter post last week, Arnell said that he was here to sing the band's legacy and if that's not enough for some members of the band anymore, well they can just go ahead and fire him. He went on to say basically that he's sick of being reminded within the band that he was plucked from obscurity. He says he's paid his dues and he's not a slave to the band. You know what, I absolutely love this. I love that Arnell has found his voice and he's sticking up for himself now. Kane, Sean and Perry, the lot of them, they're all very selfish. All their lawsuits and backstabbing over the last few years has had a negative effect on Arnell Pineda and I feel he's ready to throw in the towel at this stage. It's not worth it to him anymore. Arnell sees what is happening to him and I'm sure he feels betrayed. He doesn't need to be thankful anymore. He's given Journey just as much as they've given him at this stage. Without Arnell breathing life vocally into this band over the last 15 years, there wouldn't have been a Journey. If, and let's face it when, they lose Arnell, they will not find a replacement like him, I'm telling you guys. When he quits, Journey are finished for good. Overall, as a big Journey fan, and I am a big fan, I feel this is all for the best. This horse needs to be put out of its misery and put down. Even Arnell, whose life was changed for the better being in this group, knows that. I'm curious though guys, what are your thoughts? So let me know in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel now. I'll see you next time.